Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to create a fun animation intro like this one on Cartoon Animator 5 using the content pack Interactive Learning. My name is Ez Vaz from Tomo Creator Studio. I co-directed and animated Walter Precipitous, a short film about the water site. You can watch it on our YouTube channel along with many more educational videos all created on Cartoon Animator 5. We're going to explore the Power Tools Volume 2 Interactive Learning Bundle for 2D Animation, featuring the content packs, Make Me Actor, and Instructional Tools. They allow the user to bring any object or image to life as a talking actor, customize pre-made actors, and add life to animations with different text motions and animated props. These are great for both seasoned creators and beginners. The Make Me Actor Pack offers a diverse range of unique character templates and provides more than 100 facial and body animations, perfect for character hosting, meetings, teaching, and more. You can change the text from the props and make it your own. With these packs, users can effortlessly make e-learning animations or teaching materials. Integrating cartoon characters with quizzes that will make a fun learning experience. Let's start from scratch. When you download the packs, you can find it on the content page. When you go to Instructional Tools, you can see all the different props and animations that you can use. So for example, if I select this sample text, I can go ahead and choose an animation to add to it, like such. Here on the Make Me Actor pack, I can select a character and add it to my scene. Well, the character isn't moving, so I need to go to Animations and choose from one of them. There are lots of animations and so much you can do with it. I'm gonna select this one and now it's pointing to the text. You can see on the timeline below the animation under motion. Now I want to add another animation. So I select that animation and now it does both. We can bring these stars as a prop. We can bring this book and you can see everything together so there's really a lot to do here. Let's focus on these, but let's try a custom character. So I go to composer mode, and here you can see the character, the layers, and the bones. On the left side, if I go to PSD, I can open the character on Photoshop and edit every layer. So here is the character and the points that make up where all the bones are. Now I'm gonna use this character called Van Courtier, and I will change all the layers with his images. So firstly, I'll select the character as a reference and start putting all the bones on the right places. This will identify the size of the new puppet's layers. When we save the character document and head back to Cartoon Animator, as you can see, the character is already changed. The character is wearing a beanie hat, sunglasses, and a mustache which I'm gonna add on Cartoon Animator as props. Using the spring effect, I can add some crucial movements to the balancing beanie head and even the mustache. You select the spring effect on the left bar and there you go, the mustache is alive. Save each of the props and now let's select the character, go to composer mode and add each of them to the right places. Now let's customize the sample text, but this time instead of going to PSD, we're going to SVG file, and I'll use Adobe Illustrator to create this. I will simply select the font and substitute each letter to the new one. This will be three different rows, one says Van, the other says Courtier, and the third says Show. I added a background picture that I found on Freepik to set the mood. I chose my favorite animations for the text, and there you go, it's moving. Now let's try some animations for the character, as we did before. I like this little dance, so I'll just extend it, and he'll repeat it. Great, I'm happy with all the animations. Now I'll add an animation to the stars prop on top of his head. 
Now before finishing I'm going to add some music. Now to finish this intro, the only thing missing is a camera movement. So I'll go to camera and on the last frame I'll zoom it a bit. And now you can see the whole thing completed. Now let's save the project and export it as a video. And here's the final version. I hope you enjoyed it. This content bundle is very effective and you can use it for loads of different scenarios. If you're ever stuck on Cartoon Animator 5, check the online manual. You can find it on the realillusion.com website. It's very detailed and you can solve almost everything there or you can watch their tutorials on YouTube. Thanks for watching and happy animations!